and we're expecting that summertime heat today. Live look outside on our Sky 9 camera sponsored by Our Lady Lake. We have those puffy fair weather clouds out there and that sunshine, but we are going to be tracking the chance for some showers later this afternoon. It's also hot, 90 degrees here in Baton Rouge, but already feeling like the upper 90s. And we also have a bit of a breeze coming out of the south today. So across the area, we're warm, already in the low 90s here in Baton Rouge, getting close near Gonzales at 89, 86 over a New Roads, 87 in Hammond right now. We're going to continue to see temperatures climb, I think, eventually into the low 90s by the afternoon. That's also where we're going to have to watch for some showers and storms moving through later this afternoon and then kind of fizzling out as we go throughout the later parts of the evening and overnight tonight as we see those temperatures fall back into those upper 70s. So right now on our radar, nothing here locally, but you can see over towards the northern parts of the state, the storm complex, that's going to continue to move down towards the southeast, and that's what could bring us the chance for some showers later this afternoon into the evening. So here we are at 1 o'clock, already starting to see some of that dissipate, so it's models are already showing it breaking apart, but it could continue to move down towards the southeast by the afternoon. I think we could see some storms starting to generate near the state line. Continuing through the evening, I think most of the storm activity will continue to stay towards the north of us, but we can't rule out the potential for a storm and also some lingering light showers through the evening, and then we should dry out overnight tonight. So we are going to have to watch for some potentially strong storms. The Storm Prediction Center has us highlighted in a one out of five marginal risk, but just to the north near that state line where we saw those storms kind of hold together and a better chance, a two out of five slight risk to see some severe weather. And the main threats with that is just going to be some strong winds and maybe some hail that we see develop. And then we keep that pattern for tomorrow. Once again, this is tomorrow morning. We see a, yet another storm complex moving down from the southeast towards the state. It looks like maybe tomorrow morning, late morning, we could see some showers starting to move in, but then the bulk of that activity looks to move through around one o'clock through this model, continuing through the afternoon, once again, fizzling out by the time we get to the evening, drying out overnight. So that pattern where we keep seeing those waves of energy develop near the north of us is going to continue throughout the rest of the week. So we kind of keep those rain chances. The best rain chance we have is for Thursday. And so rain total wise, it actually doesn't look like we're going to see a whole much. The Weather Prediction Center has us at a half an inch or less. And the reason for that is because you could see those storm complexes kind of breaking apart and fizzling out once they get to us. So not a lot of rainfall on average, but maybe if you do see a brief downpour, you'll see some higher total rain mounts. And also what we're going to keep is the humidity, especially as we head into Friday, all of this Gulf moisture streaming up into this low pressure system out west. So that's going to lead to some much higher temperatures for Friday. But then watch, we're tracking this front that's going to drop towards the south and hopefully usher in some drier air for us on Saturday. So we're going to get near the triple digits for the next few days in terms of those heat indices, especially as we go into Friday where we see that moisture increase. Then we get a bit of a drop in those feels like temperatures back into the low 90s. So today it's going to be hot. We are going to have to watch for some of those storms developing as that complex moves down from the north. We kind of keep that active pattern staying in the 90s, also trending a bit drier as we head into next weekend and also warmer. Matt? Sydney, thank you. Thanks.